Welcome to our lecture online and here's our next set of word problems. So this is algebra lesson 3E and this set is about investments. So let's read the example. It says Jim invested some money at 6% and $4,800 more at 8%. His total income was $1,084. How much did he invest at each rate? So again, we're going to start out by saying let x equal. And in this case, we're going to let, let x equal the amount that he invested at 6% because that's not known. So let's ec let x equal the amount invested at 6%. And then you can see that $4,800 more was invested at 8%. So we can then say that x plus $4,800 was the amount invested at 8%. So now we need to find an equation. And so you know, we know that his total income was 1,084, so we can say that the amount earned at 6% plus the amount earned at 8% should add up to the total amount earned. So the amount earned at 6% plus the amount earned at 8% should add up to the total earned. And the total earned in this case was $1,084. So how do we find the amount earned in each case? So if we take the rate of, of return and we multiply times the amount that was invested, that gives us a total amount earned here. So we can say that 6%, that's the rate of return, multiply times the amount that was invested x, they'll give us the amount earned, and I'm missing an n here, there we go. Just snuck a little n in there real quick. All right, here we have the 8% uh, investment, so again we multiply the rate of return, which is 8%, times the amount invested, which is x plus 4,800, and that should add up to the total amount of money earned. And so now we have our equation, we can now write that 0 0.06, which is the decimal equivalent of 6%, times x, plus 0 0.08, which is the decimal equivalent of 8%, times x plus 4,800, that adds up to 1,084. So now we can solve this equation. The first thing we want to do is probably get rid of the decimal places, which means we're going to have to multiply times 100 to move this over by 2. And so that means we have to do the same to both sides. We'll multiply both the left and the right side of the equation by 100. That gets rid of the decimal places on the left side. So 100 times 0 0.06, that is 6 times x plus 100 times 0 0.08, that's 8 times x plus 4,800, is equal to 100 times this, which is 1,084, with two more zeros added to it. Okay, now let's get rid of these parentheses. So that's 6x plus 8x plus 8 times 4,800, that's the same as 8 times 5,000 minus 8 times 200. 8 times 5,000 is 40,000, 8 times 200 is 1,600. That means 40,000 minus 1,600 is 38,400. Quick check, 8 times 8 is 64, that's 4 remains 6. 6 times 8 times 4 is 32, plus 6 is 38. That's correct, equals 108,000. 400. All right, next step. All the x's should be on the left side, they already are, and now move all the numbers to the right side, which means this goes to the, the right side, and of course, I have to change the sign because I crossed the equal sign. So we have 6x plus 8x is equal to 108,400 minus 38,400. 6x plus 8x is 14x, and this minus that, uh, okay, the 400s cancel out, and the 8,000 cancel out, that gives me 70,000. And finally, I divide both sides by the numerical coefficient of x. And 14 goes into 70,000, it looks like 5,000 times. 5,000, 50,000, that's right. So that means that x equals 5,000. Because 5,000 times 10 is 50,000, and 5,000 times 4 is 20,000, 50,000 70,000 is 70,000. So 
that looks like it's correct. Now, going back to our definitions, X was the amount invested at 6%. That means we invested $5,000 at 6% and $4,800 more. That makes that $9,800 invested at 8%. And that's how you do a problem like that. Okay, let's see if I can come up with some more examples.